Hello and welcome to my AppleScript tutorial channel, Clicking Keys. I am Bugs and today I'll be going over a viewer request, how to open an audio or video file in QuickTime Player and I'm going to have it automatically play that video as well. So let's get into it. So as usual, I'll start with my on run and then I will create a variable that points to my file. So I'll say set the file to and let's copy a reference to this file. Now when I do this copy, it's going to be a POSIX path, so I'll have to convert that to an HFS path. So I'll say set HFS path to POSIX file, the file as string. Then I can start to tell the application QuickTime what I want to do. So I'm going to say tell application QuickTime player. I'm going to tell it activate, which will bring it to the foreground in case there's any other applications running that are in the foreground. Then I'll say set my movie to open HFS path. So that's going to tell QuickTime player to open the file and then I'm going to get a variable my movie that contains that document. Then I'm going to add a delay here which is not required but I'm going to basically say after I open the file wait four seconds before telling it to play. Then I'm going to say tell my movie to play which will then tell QuickTime player to click the play button. I'm just going to add a comment here about the delay. Um, so like I said, this is an optional step. You don't have to put in a delay. Um, this is just going to basically allow QuickTime Player to open the movie, let the play button and all the different buttons that show up in QuickTime fade away before I tell the, the video to start to play. And I'll add one more comment here about the activate. Uh, activate again is not required. I do this in this particular situation because I would assume we want the video to be in the foreground. A lot of my scripts I don't put activate messages in. Okay, so let's uh, move the script out of the way a little bit here and I'll go ahead and run the script so we can see what happens. So here you can see it opened the video, we're waiting four seconds, and then the video plays. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.